Hello there. My name is Erica and I have two things, crippling anxiety and two, many cookbooks. Welcome to week 25. Very excited to be reaching this milestone today. And we are gonna be taking one more step on my 52 week challenge. And we're cooking from a cookbook that was selected from, from my friends and family online. We are cooking from the 1956 classic. Champagne makes a party. I mean, I love champagne. I love all things that bubble. I love everything. Anything that bubbles is the best to me. So it's going to be a twofer. It's really hot here. So I am going to be trying to make everything in the air conditioning that's not in the kitchen because my kitchen is really, really hot right now. So we're not doing that. We are going to be making the open faced shrimp sandwiches, but it also does say that you can make this with crab and oh my God, I love crab. I love crab so much. So we're going to be doing that. And we're also going to be making the champagne old fashions. It's a twofer. Let's make it. For the first part of this recipe, we are going to be making the open faced shrimp sandwich. And that's with bread that we're going to cut with two inch rounds. And then we're going to spread on either the New Orleans topping or the crab meat topping. And I love some crab meat, so that's what we're going to make first. And we're gonna garnish with olive. So let's start there. Now that we have everything prepped, we've gone through our crab, diced up our egg. Now we just need to add the sweet relish and the mayonnaise, we're going with the Japanese QB. Oh, let's go ahead and mix. Next step in the process is we are just gonna cut out our bread and we are gonna assemble our little sandwiches. All right, I'm going in, guys. This looks so vintage. Like, I literally, I just told Dan, I said, I feel like I have been transported into the 1950s so much, I need to put on red lipstick and a dress. And I'm not doing that because it's too hot for lipstick, but we are going to eat this. It looks like a pretty simple one biter, so bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you know what's surprising? The olive on there. Like, looking at the dish, I really thought the olive was just like, bring some color, some garnish. No, it's an integral part of this little dish. It's bringing acidity. It's bringing the only texture, really, to a very simple but crab blazing dish absolutely um it's eating vintage like if i was going to modernize this i might add something like some herbs i might toast up the bread to give it more texture maybe add some like shaved fennel fresh herbs something like that to just bring a little bit more texture even just serving it on like a baked or grilled piece of bread or crostini or even a cracker or tortilla chip would really enhance this dish. Overall, I think it's very good. I think it can be improved on, but many things can be improved on. And this is just unapologetically vintage. And I love that. And since we're doing a twofer, we're also making the champagne old fashioned, which I just assembled. It says to place the usual assortment of fruit in an old-fashioned glass, add an ice cube, 
and fill with champagne. Sad story is the Taylor Wine Company of New York no longer makes champagne, but we're able to make do, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, that is so refreshing. That is really good. The orange in there, like for me, the usual assortment of fruits, in an old fashion, it's an orange peel and a maraschino cherry. So that effervescence when the champagne bubbles hit the orange and it like goes directly into your nose, it's giving me like, I'm so thirsty. I really want to drink that. That smells really, really good. And the pairing with the crab, it's adding that citrus note that I felt was missing before. So I think these are both very delicious. And I'm glad that we made this. I'm glad that, you know, week 25 is going to cap off with some champagne because why not? And stay tuned for week 26. Important because that's my halfway mark. We have made it halfway to my 50 week challenge to cook a different recipe from a different cookbook every week. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a safe and wonderful day wherever you are. And we will see you next week. Deuces.